In this video, we present the solution to question number 10 from the practice midterm exam for math 2270. We're given a matrix A, which is a three by three matrix given as one, two, zero, 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 one, and zero, zero, zero. And we're given a vector B in R3, three, one, zero. And we're asked to determine the general solution of the non-homogeneous system AX equals B. And we're supposed to express it as a particular solution and the solution of the general solution of the homogeneous system in vector form. So to solve the system, we're going to begin with A augment B, which for these coefficients, we're going to get 1, 2, 0, slash 3, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 0, 0, 0, 0, which we can see that this matrix is already in RREF. And so if, we, if it helps, we can think of the corresponding system of linear equations, right? This would say something like x1 plus 2x2 equals 3, and x3 equals 1, and then 0 equals 0, which really doesn't help us at all. Why as we'll say the sky is blue in that situation, it's more helpful. So we know that in with our general solution x right here, it can be broken up as x1, x2, x3. So what do we know? Well, x3 is a dependent variable. It has to be 1, okay? Uh, we also know that x1 is a dependent variable. If you rewrite this first equation, we end up with x1 equals 3 minus 2x2. So we're going to make that dependence uh, statement right there. So x1 is 3 minus 2x2. And then, well, x2 doesn't have any restriction on it whatsoever. It's a free variable, so we get this. Um, for which we can then decompose this very quickly. We see that a particular solution will be 3, 0, and 1. Uh, so if x equals 3, y equals 0, and z are, uh, yeah, if x1 equals 3, x2 equals 0, and x3 equals 1, you can double check with these equations here, right? 3 plus 0 is equal to 3, and then 1 equals 1. Very trivial solution. And so this is going to be our particular solution. Next, we're then going to take the linear combination of x2 times uh, what's left behind. We get a negative 2, a 1, and a 0, like so. And so this is actually going to be our general solution in play right here. Nothing more complicated than that. So x2 times negative 2 plus 1, uh, excuse me, negative 2, 1, and 0 there. That gives us the general solution of the homogeneous system. You'll notice that if you were to take this matrix and times it by negative 2, and, uh, negative 2 1, and 0, you would get, doing the multiplication here, you're going to get negative 2 plus 2, uh, you're going to get a 0 and a 0. This is the 0 vector. Thus, this vector right here really does represent uh, the null space. It's in the null space, and that gives us a basis for the null space, in fact. So we do have the general solution expressed as a particular solution and the general solution of the homogeneous system.